What's going on guys? Peter J. Cruz here. Thanks for coming by. So, uh, today I wanted to bitch, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Um, so, I've been working on setting up my guitars. Because, I mean, my guitars haven't gotten any TLC in a very long time. I mean, I've done the odd cha string change here and there. I haven't done a whole lot of stuff to them. I mean, I really haven't needed it. But I figured, I'm you know, getting ready for 2019. Things are going to change hardcore around here. And they're going to get a lot of use. And I'll be damned if they're not going to be, like, up to peak performance levels. You know, to, to get the stuff done I plan to get done. So, um, I started, decided to start, I'm going to go through and do a full setup, change the strings and everything, clean and polish them, you know, cross all my T's and dot all my I's, you know. So, um, started doing that, and I had, I had a shit ton of, you know, strings, um, locked, lying around from, I guess, collecting, had them in a toolbox or in a little toolbox here in, in the closet in the studio, I don't know, a year, two years, three years, whatever. Um, I had done the uh, string club thing from my uh, guitar center. It's like 20 bucks a year. It was 20 bucks a year. I mean, I haven't done it in a while. Uh, I was running out of room to keep strings. And um, it's like 20 bucks a year, and you get like a free set of strings every month. And as infrequently as I was changing the strings, it just it just accumulated. So, but here's, here's where I'm going to bitch, okay? So, you get in, back in the day, back in the day, these are how strings came, right? Just in a clear plastic wrapper thing with with a paper insert and then your strings were in like in these envelopes right well and I might have had this forever too who knows so but now I guess now they've gone to this whole you know sealed for freshness garbage right well if it's sealed for freshness I'm looking at freaking eat it right so it's you want it you want you want them free of rust if anything I mean you don't want rusty strings when you open up a new pack right so that's what I've been dealing with. So I've been opening up and I've gone through some of the sets. I've had to throw away two or three strings and I have to open up a new set to replace the strings that I've thrown out because they were rusted. And I'm not saying that they're corroded to like, you know, where they're not completely usable. Yeah, I could probably still use them, but they're going to have bands of rust all the way up and down the string. I mean, like, you know, here, 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 and here. Because it, I guess it, like, it rusts through in a, like, in a straight line across the strings in the coil, you know? Um... This one here was one from, from from a boomer set, and it's got, I mean, you look on the inside of the envelope. You look at the inside of the envelope, and you've got rust inside there. And it's on the string. And so, I mean, it, I guess it's more annoying than anything else, but I mean, you, you don't want rusty strings on your guitar. So, so that kind of aggravated me. So I started going through all my different strings or whatever, and I've got all these strings open. Not to mention, as you're doing a setup, you... You know, you're just in the, you know, the, the truss rod or you're just an intonation or whatever and you tightening or retuning the guitar and then something goes awry and a string pops loose or breaks or whatever and you got to replace it. Well, then you have to open up another pack, find another string and then maybe you find that one, turns out that one had rust on it. And it's like, oh, so you have to open up another pack. So it, it's been kind of like a pain in the ass to say the least. So I'm kind of at wit's end, and I was like, you know, I have to do a fucking video. So here's the video. Um, so anyway, so I'm a little disappointed, to say the least. And, I mean, if I kept these in a garage, okay, maybe I wouldn't be bitching so much. But they've been in, in, in a, like, in a toolbox. Kept them in a toolbox, closed down, in a closet, in a house that's kept at, like, 74, 75 degrees year long, okay? All year long. Um, doesn't go outside. The only time these strings were outside is when I brought them from Guitar Center to my house. That's it. Okay. Um, so there's no, I, I can't, it's, I can't see a reason why they should be rusted. Period. So I'm a little perturbed. So I'm a little aggravated. So now I decided, well, and okay, well, let me, let me back up. You would think with these uh, foil packages that the strings would be, you know, like rust free um, but apparently they're not, they're, it's not airtight because if they were airtight they wouldn't rust um, but now the ones that come in the foil that um, have the plastic the, the paper envelopes they're the ones that uh, that you end up finding rust with 
the so I guess that kind of has to come in denominator. Everything that's got the plastic envelopes are not going to work. Um, I was just reading the back of this 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 guarantee thing from Ernie Ball. So, um, but I did come across a set of boomers, one set that I actually put on one of my guitars. And when I opened up the foil, unlike the paper envelopes like like these, actually had plastic. Uh, it was like a plastic sealed, like little baggie, and it was sealed. I mean, you had to sit there and rip it to to, to get the string out. Those were fine. I had no issues with those whatsoever. But the ones that come in like in the foil pack like this, that actually have the paper envelopes, those are the ones that come rusted. So I don't know. I mean, there's no way you can tell by looking at the outside what, what kind of packaging it is on the inside, other than tearing it open and looking at it, but I guess you can't do that if you, before you buy it, technically. Um, so, yeah, kind of a pain in the ass. I'm kind of you know, aggravated. The only strings I've seen that consistently, and I've had limited experience, I, I'll admit, the D, D Dario, I guess they all come in like in a shrink-wrapped bag or uh, like a plastic-sealed bag where it's kind of like airtight. Um, so I would imagine they might be less susceptible to getting rusted. I don't know. So go ahead and comment below and tell me what your experiences are, guys, with um, with rust on strings when you buy them. I mean, maybe not right away. I mean, if you, I'm sure if you bought it right at the store, brought it home and put them straight on your guitar, you might be okay. Uh, but if you've kept them in a relatively cool place without you know a lot of humidity or whatever, I mean, have you run into any trouble with uh, with rust on your strings? Anyway, go ahead and comment below. And let me know what you think. Um, but I'm hoping maybe this these sealed D'Arios would be the answer to my to my ills, so to speak. So, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do with all these other strings though, because I mean, I mean at this point I'm like, well, are they going to be rusted or not? I might just open them up and just throw them together into a big giant Ziploc bag, the ones that are not rusted, so I can use them for you know like a replacement string if I break a string somewhere. And then I'll just keep the full sets just for when I do a full-on changeover. So, anyway, that's all I had. So, um, yeah, kind of a pain in the ass, but if, I guess it is what it is, right? So, anyway, that's the only rant I had. That's it, that's it for today. I, I changed locations for the video because everything's a mess in the studio where I'm doing all the guitar setup work. So, um... So I'm here outside the studio just shooting in front of my, my Wall of Fame. And I'll do a Wall of Fame video before too long, too, so so you guys can check it out. It's kind of cool. So anyway, that's all I got. Rock on, guys. Thanks for stopping by. We'll catch you later.